Who wins in the final battle of greens versus blacks? The Targaryen Civil War, known as the Dance of the Dragons, is a brutal struggle between two factions. The greens, led by Queen Alicent Hightower and her son, Aegon II, and the blacks, led by Princess Rhaenyra Targaryen. But in the final battle, who truly comes out victorious? According to Fire and Blood, the book that House of the Dragon is based on, both sides suffer tremendous losses. The blacks appear to gain the upper hand after Rhaenyra's forces take King's Landing, with Rhaenyra herself briefly sitting on the Iron Throne. However, her reign is short-lived. Aegon II, initially hidden away after losing the throne, mounts a counterattack with the Greens, leading to Rhaenyra's capture. In a shocking turn, Aegon has her fed to his dragon, Sunfire, marking a devastating end for the Black's leader. But while Aegon II takes the throne after Rhaenyra's death, his victory is hollow. The Greens are fractured and Aegon is left severely wounded. His reign doesn't last long, as he is poisoned shortly after, ending his life and the Greens' control. Ultimately, it is Rhaenyra's son, Aegon III, who takes the Iron Throne. He's crowned as a compromise between the two factions, effectively ending the civil war. Though the blacks lose in battle, they win in legacy, with Aegon III restoring the Targaryen line on the throne. The Dance of the Dragons ends in tragedy for both sides, but in the end, a Targaryen still sits on the Iron Throne. Yet, the kingdom is left broken, and the dragons nearly extinct, making this one of the bloodiest conflicts in Westeros history. Who truly won? History shows that no one escapes the cost of civil war. Subscribe for more House of the Dragon content and deep dives into the lore.